Hey guys, Pase Baller here. We are now on this third game of this March 11, 2022 NBA game day. This is Detroit Pistons with a record of 18 and 48. Uh, visiting Boston Celtics with the record of 40 wins and 27 losses. The game will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that, that it is going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Also, I would just like to uh, uh, give the a shout out to. Uh, hold on, um, just want to make sure that I read it right. Because uh, uh, aside from Kevin, who you know sent me uh, cash tips for two days now, um, there's also another one here. I just want to make sure that again I would read it right. Edward Dalla, thank you very much, man. I got I got the cash tip that you that you sent via PayPal. Thank you very much, bro. I, I'm glad that I was also able to help. All right. Okay, now let's take a look at the Eastern Conference uh, standing so that we'll have a closer look at these two teams. Starting with Boston Celtics, they are at number 5 now. Uh, in the Eastern Conference, uh, their last 10 games, uh, man, they, they have won 8. 8-2, eight, and approaching this game, they are on a 4-game winning streak. All right. For Detroit Pistons, they are at number 14. And man, am I seeing it right? For their last 10 games, they have won 6. So Detroit Pistons lately really are looking good, they are fun to watch, and they are improving a whole lot. Approaching this game, they're coming off a loss against the Chicago Bulls. But man, if you've seen that game, even though Isaiah Stewart wasn't able to play, man, uh, the Detroit Pistons, I really thought that they had it, right? But it was close. It was close. We, we, got, it, we got it correct, though, with a, you know, with a, uh, with a plus 6.5. Anyway, all right, so on this game, Boston Celtics, they would have the home court advantage. Obviously, they have the momentum. I know Detroit Pistons has momentum too, but man, you can't, you can't beat the momentum that Boston Celtics has right now. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams were able to rest last night. Alright, so let's take a look at the injury list. For Boston Celtics, there's just one, Aaron Neesmith. Uh, he is, consider he is um, listed as out for this game. For Detroit Pistons... Man, this is a bit longer than usual. Uh, I see five. Frank Jackson, Isaiah Stewart, uh, Killian Hayes, uh, Hamidou Diallo, and Rodney Magruder. Man, that's going to hurt. They, they won't have Hayes. They won't have Magruder. Those are the backup, uh, you know, the backup guards or the backup, um, yeah, point guard and shooting guard of um, Detroit. And they don't have Hamidou Diallo as well. And Hamidou Diallo brings a lot of steals, a lot of rebounds uh, for Detroit. So that's going to really be a huge blow for them. So let's take a look at the uh, spread. Well, it opened with minus 14 for Boston Celtics, the home team. Um, and yeah, as we speak, it is still at minus 14. Sorry for the noise. There are a lot of dogs. There are a lot of children outside, you know, playing. But yeah, I'm going to make this one quick. Um... Obviously, Boston Celtics is on a roll right now. I know Detroit Pistons, uh, they've defeated Boston Celtics once this season. Before you know, before the All-Star break, they defeated uh, Boston Celtics by one point. Uh, but when they had some sort of a rematch after the All-Star break, um, Boston you know, nailed them. But if you've seen that game, it was also close, man. Um, the game was actually close. Uh, Detroit was even... Uh, holding the lead, you know, at some points there. It's just that towards the fourth quarter, it was when Boston Celtics actually uh, broke away. Now on this, okay, there are a lot of children, man. Anyway, <laughs> uh, for this game though, uh, I think Boston Celtics would have an easier time uh, taking home the win because of the injuries that Detroit has. Man, they won't have their backup point guards. They don't have their starting center. But what I like about Detroit Pistons is that, um, you know, they are ready. They are young, but they are ready. Whoever it is that, you know, that is being, uh, that is being called to, you know, to, uh, to, to ball, they will ball. And I just feel like the plus 14 uh, or minus 14 for uh, Chimacaldis, for Boston Celtics, that's just too much. That is just too much, minus 14. Um, yeah, I think. Yes, it, it, it is just too hard for Boston Celtics, I mean for Detroit Pistons to, to beat Boston at this point. Uh, Boston is uh, uh, on a momentum train right now. 
in um, Detroit Pistons. They have a lot of players who are out. So, yeah, I think it will be Boston who will win the game. But in terms of covering the spread, I'm going to still side with Detroit Pistons in here. I guess that's just too big. Plus 14 for a team who is young, or for a team who are having some momentum as well. I'm talking about Cade Cunningham. I'm talking about Jeremy Grant. I'm talking about Sadiq Bey, man. Don't you forget, the Detroit Pistons now have their own big three. All right, so my pick would be Detroit Pistons plus 14. Pistons plus 14. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.